Hello friends. Uh, today we will discuss about uh, the structure of leaves and uh, we will also explain about the cross section of the leaves uh, by that you can understand the various aspect of the leaf and the structure, the cross section part. First, initially I will give you a brief of uh, details of the lateral structure of a leaf. Suppose this is a leaf structure. This is a midrib. This is a midrib portion of a leaf. These are the various veins emerging out of that midrib. So uh, this is the uh, midrib, this is the uh, lamina, we call it lamina or blade, anything you can call it both are same. Then this forms the upper part, this forms the phloem. The vein uh, and the lower part is called xylem. This combined forms a vascular bundle. Uh, the main function of this uh, vascular bundle is to bring all the raw material for photosynthesis and the chlorophylls are present in that and this is the vein part. So broadly outside the leaf, if we cut a leaf like that, we will see all this st structure in that. This forms a, a particular leaf view. Now uh, when we go into a detailed structure of a leaf, the you see certain structure which is a, this is a cross section of a leaf structure. Now this forms the upper part which is called a cuticle. This is a cuticle part. Uh, here this is a cuticle part. This is much more clearer. Then the part between this and the lower epidermis, upper epidermis and the lower epidermis. This consists of cells called mesophyll cells or palisade. This contains chlorophylls. That means below the epidermis, upper epidermis is the chlorophyll cells. Here you can see these are the chlorophyll cells and the chlorophyll cells are responsible for the photosynthesis process. For photosynthesis, the uh, plant requires, say, uh, light, they require uh, uh, water, they, have, they should have, uh, chlorophyll should be there, chlorophyll, which are found inside the cell, green color of the, of the plant and CO2, carbon dioxide. The chlorophyll is present here and the vascular bundle, this is the vascular bundle, which consists of xylem and phloem. This translocates all the water and minerals to the plant, water and minerals to the plant. Then we have uh, air sacs, air species we have and the lower portion is the guard cell. As I described earlier in my session, uh, the guard cells um, protects the stoma pore. This stoma pore helps in the gases exchange between the plant and the atmosphere. So, uh, more the uh, transmission taking place, the guard cell closes down, shrinks down, and closes the stoma pores. Unless the um, if the water is there, if the turgid is there, humidity is there, automatically it opens up and the gas exchange takes place. This is the gas exchange of carbon dioxide taking place, and this is the vascular bundle. So this complete structure forms a lateral view of a cross-sectional view of a of a leaf. Now, uh, and so this differs from leaf to leaf, and, and different type of leaf, like aquatic leaf, have a different type of structure, and um, the plants found in terrestrial part have different type of structure. So these are the uh, basic form, uh, constant of a leaf structure, and uh, and, and the various uh, requirement of photosynthesis and how the material is transported to leaf 
and uh, the uh, the uh, production of uh, food takes place in the form of sunlight that is called photosynthesis in the coming session we will describe more about this uh, leaf structure and the various uh, reactions taking place in the leaf and the photosynthesis how the photosynthesis is taking place what are the cycles involved all would be explained in the next session thanks thanks sir